Boom, boom, this is Ken Rear coming to you from the corner. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so we've got Don Macchio on tap today. We're going to go over uh, a little brief uh, rundown how you do how to do the dailies. Um, so to access uh, your questing tab, uh, uh, result questing tab, I should say, click on this box up here uh, in the top in the center. This shows you the three listing of dailies you have. Uh, the daily tab, which is uh, what we're going to go over today, and this is just basically um, talk to three characters, uh, complete an Exilnia quest, complete a phone a quest, uh, click on the status board, and clear any episode. These two, you don't. Uh, if you log on at a certain time, you get those, but uh, you don't need to complete those two to get the um, clear all the dailies because it's only the main five, which is these five right here. Okay. So let's focus on those right now. So that's really simple. You go back to the main screen uh, and you just go talk to three people here in town. And you'll get a little bit of CP. And I'm going to show you how to get more CP a little bit later. But you, so you just talk to three people is all you got to do. Now these, uh, the people who are in town are people that you're, characters that you have. And they do alternates at different times. In the morning up until there's a group. And then in the evening there's another group. Um, so you'll have everybody that you uh, everybody that you own will be in town um, during the day at some time or other. You just have to, um, you know, figure out when it is because uh, it says right there in the center. Um, so next update at 12 uh, PST. So um, that meant that's when they will change the people in the town to a new group of people. But I'll show you how to get CP for everybody um, through your character list. So I'm just, just going to walk through everybody here. Okay, so that's all you have to do. You only have to do it for three, but I just showed you all of it. Okay, so the second quest, uh, they were talking about Axelia and Fauna quests. Uh, if you go to the quest down here in the bottom right, Okay, so you got to complete one story mode. So this basically just means you need to go into one of your um, one of your uh, episodes. Let's go down to um, Lifa, which is still I'm working on. So uh, and just com complete one of the battles here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put Lifa in my party just in case the quest wants to see her in the party. She doesn't have to be a main member. Um, she just said she so you don't have to actually use her, but she, a sub member was fine that passes off as being in the party. Okay, I'll I will skip the uh, not so not to spoil the story. Basically, what you're seeing in these episodes is you're seeing uh, the Bell episode is from Bell's perspective, the Ace episode is from Ace's perspective, Leaf it's from Leaf is expecting, and from uh, Ryu it's from Ryu's expect. So it's basically season one. Uh, and now they've got season two in there, and it's basically seeing seeing it from the other's perspective. So you get a little bit more of the story um, that you didn't get from just seeing the anime. So um, it's pretty nice. But the the, the Bell story runs the anime um, that it, in tune perfectly with the anime. So you can expect the story mode to to do do a faithful uh, faithful telling of how the anime went, or should. Uh, and uh, it's the same thing on, you know, on, on A's and Leaf and them, you're going to get a little bit more, you get a little bit more, of course, about the story that was not shown in the anime because you're coming from, you're coming at them from them. So that's really nice. Okay. So that's one story mode. That's all you have to do. Okay. Um, to complete the story mode. So then, um, as you can see, you get, you know, you get bonuses for completing these levels. So you get phone and stuff. So, okay. Next. So that was one story mode level. Uh, next is booths, and you just got to do one fauna. Now, um, on the fauna quests, um, two will be open each Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Each two will be open on Saturday. Two will be open, okay? The others will be locked. However, on Sunday, which is the day that I'm doing this, they're all open. So you can run all of them without having to unlock them. And I'll show you the little the little tools that you can get for unlocking them. But you get you get uh, you get one each day, uh, and if you do not use it, it accumulates. So um, it's possible to save up quite a few of those. Now, also, I'm doing this on the EX level, 
you will of course want to do this on the easy level if you're just a new player and then just keep just keep you know working your way up and you know try to compete you know as high as you can and just keep you know each day until you get to the ex level which is the final level uh and that's that's uh you know you sh once you have four 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 star characters in your team you should be able to complete the ex level so you've got normal hard very hard and ex and that's what i'm doing so these over here on the side you got these usable uh, orbs these are the orbs that are used to open up um the fauna um, potato snacks and uh, are items that you get just by running the levels and it just gives you extra stamina okay so as you can see you've got uh, you've got use these usable forbs um, uh, you know you get one each day um, and if you don't use it you get you, you know you get to keep an orb so uh, you know, if you miss a few days, I just, I, I've, at, the, at this point right now, I just run the basic two that are, uh, uh, I don't, you know, I don't run them all. Uh, I've got, a, a, you know, I've got a bunch of fauna. You won't have any trouble once you get started playing with keeping fauna. You'll, you, you know, it, you, you just get all types. You, as you play through the story modes and do events and stuff, that's, that's just, you know, a first time clear reward for a lot of the, um, a lot of the events. So you, you'll, you'll have, you'll have an abundance of it. But if you're ever lacking, you can always come in here and uh, throw one of your um, orbs into it and open it up and run it. You know, as long as you got stamina, you can run it as many times as you want in that day. So um, it's good. To, it's good to have it there. I've got to hear no fauna. Don't get those very often. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's how you do. So that's that quest. So you only have to do it once. You just have to clear one. I just do the two because that's what I normally do. Okay, so, uh, yeah, and try to get the EX because that's where you get the most rewards. Um, and then next is Exilia Quest. Uh, as you can see, the same thing. You have to unlock it. And you'll get one a day. And then um, I'm going to do it on EX as well, too. So I just wait for this to run here. I've just got it on auto because this stuff is really, I don't really need to um, manually do these because my teams uh, wipes them out pretty easily. Once you get a fairly good team with uh, with some limit breaks on them and, you know, ascendant stuff, you, the only time you'll ever need to uh, manual your team is in more gaming and um, uh Rocket Buster will be the only times you really need to manual. Uh, Monsterphilia as well, too, because it's required to manual Monsterphilia, Monsterphilia which we'll have another. Uh, that's our next our next video will be on the PvP aspects of the game. Okay, so that's that. So that's taken care of. So now let's see. I think. So let's go back to the main screen. Click on this. Let's go to our dailies. Let's see what we got here. So we cleared an episode. We completed a fauna, completed an exilia, and we talked to three characters. Okay, so now we just got to boost the status board. Okay, so to boost to boost the status, you go into your character screen and you go into status board, and then just choose whichever character. Um, now, here's the thing with this: I um, I choose one character that I'm what I what I'm doing calling slow level just so I can complete my daily. Okay, I, I don't want to unlock all of her tat all of lines even though lines very good character uh, and I'll start using her if I get any dupes of her but because she has a good healing function. But so you just pick one character that you want to level up but you don't need right now and then you just click on one you only have to do it once okay and then just unlock it okay so that's done but I didn't waste all my fauna on a character that I might not be using okay so so that's line so I did that once so now I go back to my quests and I completed the status board and then I get the I was because that's it it's all done okay
So that's that's your daily quest. That's all you have to do. As you can see, that took me, what, 15, 10, 15 minutes? Quickest daily quest of any game I've ever played, which is one of the reasons I enjoyed it, because some days you just don't have time, uh, and you can just pull out your phone and in 15 minutes, knock it out. Okay, so let's take a look at the quest tab here, okay? So you've got total. Total quests are uh, a quest achieved over time, okay? As you, com as you work through the game and you complete hard mode quests and achieve a certain rank and log in for certain, you'll get these requests, okay? So these are total. These are always open and will never close until you actually complete them. Now, time limited is completely different. Time limited quests are, are quests associated with uh, events and certain um, like Record Buster and uh, Familia uh, Wargaming and Wargaming. Those are only open certain times. So the quests for those will see like when, when see this is Familia Wargame, battle four times in Familia Wargame, okay? That quest, when Familia Wargame ends, that quest will disappear even if you haven't completed it, okay? So that's what, uh, so all these familiar war game quests will complete, will disappear once that. In the clear heroic trials, when the event, the Goblin Slayer is event over, these will disappear as well. So, you know, in war gaming, Braver 3 in war games, when the war game ends, this will disappear. So that's what this means by um, time limited. That means they're only run when that particular event is open, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of these events. So if you go in the bottom and you look and uh, type on arena, okay? See, familiar war game is going on right now. Um, yeah, it's active, okay? I think it's, uh, yeah, it's our, yeah, we won. Yay! <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm Moore's Ansel, so we whipped them up pretty good, 72 to 19. Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was a pretty quick one. Um, right now we're prepping for um, to go up against he Hest Hestinaya. Um, uh, we've got four lands and one losses, so that'll be uh, available. Um, just to give you what it looks like, you just basically go into one top and you battle them. It's in prep right now, so it won't. It doesn't come active until this evening. Um, it's still seven hours or eight hours before it becomes active, so it won't be active until um, uh, ten, uh, tonight. Uh, for me um, so I'll knock it out tonight but yeah so uh, but that's it so this is familiar wargaming so those quests that you saw associated with it will disappear when familiar wargaming ends and that is supposed to be um, wargaming this runs until 211 so this is only going to be running for two more days okay uh, it's the same with wargaming wargaming is open until 211 as well too and then they go on a hiatus and they'll usually be back in a, it, I'm not sure I think it's I'm not sure what the limit is, but it it, it 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 you know it comes back every now and then. So war gaming is just basically the same thing. Now war gaming here, you basically pick your best team, and you choose war game. Now I'm up pretty high right now. I'm in the Perseus one. That's like six levels up. So I'm starting to come across against uh, um, some pretty really good teams. So I'm losing some and I'm winning some, but uh, it's both. Um, uh, so it, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty much auto function. So you just apply your best team as you can. And it looks like I'm doing pretty good in this one. Yeah. So that's a win. So, um, yeah, and see, that's what we're gaming is now. I'm yeah, it starts, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm up like six levels, uh, Perseus, uh, one. Um, so I'll be going into Braver next. I think one of my quests is to get into Braver. Um, we'll see that. I think it's just to get into Braver. Okay, yeah, so, so yeah, see, this is the Wargaming. See, these quests will disappear, okay? Yeah, Persistent Wargaming, I'll do that a little bit later. Um, and I'll be able to complete both of these quests after I two. Well, maybe if I win two more, but I, I should have a, chan a good chance at winning two more and daily participate in war games. So you just want to make sure that you, when war gaming is up, that you do it and you claim your quests for it. Okay. Um, and then heroic trials. Let me show you that real quick now. So this is the arena. Let me show you. Okay. So war gaming I showed you. Familiar war gaming I showed you. 
Monsterphilia is a manual thing, and basically you just take your team and you go in and you fight against a group of people. Now, Monsterphilia is manual, okay? So you'll have to choose what you want to, which you know, what you want to fight with um, for your first setup. Okay, so those are pretty big guys. So let's, uh, I'm going to use Geosurge, um, Etherwake, um, Stinging Blade, and Spiral Strike. And this should get, this should uh, uh, get some attack bots. How much damage did I get? I did a pretty good amount of damage. Let's go one more time. Now, as you can see, this this right here, this little timer on the character, that means slow, and that is that is the buff that is being supplied by um, Cowgirl um, Chagusa. Okay, so now my my um, as active. I always use her special art um, simply because it's the most it's it's my most powerful um, special art of the group. Um, but one one of the things about running the test on auto is is based on you know skill strike time and whatnot. It will be who the auto chooses to run your. Um, run your 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 special art uh, I prefer to manually control my special art because um, Cassandra's special art is much more powerful because she you know I've got her fully limit broken fully maxed out so she she's the most important so okay so I got that uh, I got that in there uh, the way to get an S on that is to do it with four members on the party so I just have to take out a member that's not a problem I could probably do it um, but I, I haven't been focusing on Monsterphilia too much. I've been focusing mostly on the wargaming, so I'll hit that once wargaming uh, closes down on the 11th. Then I'll start focusing on Monsterphilia. Usually, though, when they close down wargaming and familiar wargaming, uh, they, a lot of times the record buster comes up. Um, but yeah, so these are the PvP attributes that you'll, you'll see within the game. Um, so as you can see, they're pretty interesting, and they always get. Uh, this is daily logon rewards. You get daily logons. They got the daily logon rewards for the event. Okay, so um, so that's that. So that's what you got. You got that's all your mission tabs here. And it's just remember, just this button right up here is when you click on, and it's got all. You can click on all rewards, and it'll pull all your rewards for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Adventure level one. This is when you get much much higher, um, because these these involve um, some you know. Putty hit the level 80, level 100, level these. I just barely got to 80. Um, I probably, um, well, I'll go ahead and run it just to see, but I'm probably going to get wasted. <laughs> so let's put Chagusa back in there. I, I don't think I'm going to stand much of a chance against level 80 stuff. This this is high level stuff. Um, or you at Chagusa? There you are. So let's let's see what it have. Let's see what happens here. I'm just going to let it run auto instead of controlling. I just want to see how much damage I do. So it, it, in in these instances, it's not so much how much damage you do, it's how much damage you get that is taken against you. Because um, as you can see, he's doing a pretty pretty hefty amount of damage. Um, See, this is where it comes in line to have a large amount of characters. Okay, now see, um, see, I clicked off auto battle right there, um, and the reason I did that is because I want to force my special art uh, of Cassandra's because it does the most damage. So if even when you're doing on auto, um, you can let those run on auto, but click off the auto battle right when you get right when your um, special art goes active. If you want to specify which art. Um, because mine's just, it's, a, it, 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 it's, it, it's sometimes I have no idea who's going to run. Um, 
So yeah, I'm not. So that's I'm set by halfway down. That's not too bad. I could probably get a little bit more if I manually do the whole thing, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, show that right now, um, as it just takes too. You know, takes too long. But uh, so she's still up, Noble Fencer. I've only got her too. So she's she's actually a pretty good character. Okay, so yeah, so so yeah, so you know, it's going to take me a little bit while. Once I get all my character, uh, once I have a full level of characters that are fully limit broke, fully awoke, and fully ascension, uh, fully ascended, I can probably beat that. But this this is for your high level guys, and as you can see, they're giving you actually bonds and stuff for that, which is like really high level items. So um, yeah, so I got it halfway done. Um, I could probably I could probably complete it. Um, just revive my characters and keep going on and on, but I'm not going to waste the iris on that um, until I get a little bit tougher. I'll probably give it another try after I get uh, Lightning, um, my noble fencer, up, maxed up, maxed out at level, um, fully broken, fully scented. So, yeah, so that's what you do on that quest, okay? So um, that's just an overview of your questing. So that after we do, the, now that we've done the questing, uh, next time we're going to focus on some of the some of the uh, event aspects of the Goblin Slayer event here. And the events are pretty much all the same. The Goblin Slayer event, uh, like in the Data Lava event they had a while back, um, the events, they, they pretty much do the events all the same. You have an event story mode that you do to get your story, and that's where you get the chance to fully limit break one of the characters. Um, and then they'll have, you know, exchanges and whatnot, and st special items that you can only get in those events and it's extremely important that you look through those exchanges find those items and purchase them um so that you're not you know you're not stuck like if you want to get um one of the characters in this event is uh um is uh samurai D uh i think he's samurai um it's a version of uh not takamizuki where is he at I've, yeah it's uka there's a in there's demon it's it's demon slayer or samurai sla, samurai demon slayer uh uka okay uka has a weapon okay and the weapon that he possesses requires war fairy this item right here you can't get this item unless you do this event Okay, so you have to get the War Fairy from this event. So you want to make sure that you purchase all the War Fairy. Um, I think it takes four, and I already bought one recently. So you need to make sure that you purchase the items for that. So because this quest directly goes to, um, there's a quest in the uh, Time Limited time limited there is a request to craft a sword and i think his sword is it's probably demon chopper right here crafting demon chopper so if you go down here and look for demon chopper demon chopper i'm not sure if it's demon chopper but one of the swords in here requires you to have There it is, Demon Chopper. Yes, War Fairy. You see now, if you didn't get the War Fairy, you couldn't do this, okay? So the detail is to craft Demon Chopper, okay? I'm going to go ahead and do it because I have a bunch of gold ore and War Fairy, so I'm going to craft it. Okay, crafting great success, okay? I got, okay, now I'm going to show you the item. Okay, I don't want to equip it right now. Okay, this is Demon Chopper. Okay, now if you look at Demon Chopper, this is specifically for Uka. Okay, so unit effect only Uka can unlock its true powers. Okay, all these stats strength plus 10, agility, dexterity, critical those, those are only applicable if Uka uses this weapon. If you give this weapon to somebody else, they're only going to do the um. 193 they're only going to do the damage of 193 see right here 190 and 230 they're going to only going to do the damage that you got when you crafted the sword okay 
to get those all these uh, you know attributes to be active, you have to get put this weapon on Uka. Okay, I have an Uka, but he's I don't think I have a four star Uka. Um, to equip it too at this point okay but I completed the quest so now I go back to my quests and go to time limited and there it is craft demon chopper so I completed that so I get one hero okay so that's why it's important that when an event comes up that you make sure that you find items that are specific to the quest and make sure that you you know get those items and I'm going to I'm going to go in depth on the event questing and how to participate them in more in the next video Okay, but I just wanted to give you a quick show there on how to do that. Okay, so get into the game, everyone. The uh, Goblin Slayer event's going on. It's not hard to complete. You should be able to, uh, you know, get a lot of it done. Um, and you should be able to easily complete it uh, uh, in a time limit because it doesn't look like it's going to end until uh, well into next week. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching the video. Please put a like on it if you like it. And um, remember to... Uh, Click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified every time I drop a video. And this is Ken Rear, signing out.